Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to five cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Tribute to for an Oblivion. Okay. Activate a Meteor Charge. Change the battle position of your Caliglion. Mm hmm. Ooh, uh, is that going to be just game? 34. Back for it does 12. nothing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Requiem of Destruction was released July 9th, 2022, and introduces seven new Go Rush anime characters. Yuamu introduces Bluetooth Burst Dragon, a 2500 attack dragon monster that can destroy all 1500 or less attack monsters on the opponent's field and gain attack based on the number of monsters destroyed. Tell introduces Kappa Emperor River Slider. 2500 attack aqua monster that can send an aqua monster to grave to destroy up to two face up level 7 or lower normal monsters. Mania introduces Dianquito, the Cure Maiden, a 2500 attack aqua monster that if you control a field spell allows you to draw one card, and if that card is a field spell, gain a thousand life points. We have decided to include Tell and Mania as one aqua package for the draft this week. I will be taking the Aqua Package, Mania and Tell, Mitsuko, and Bocchi, while Alex will take Yuamu, Manabu, and Zuijo. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Aqua. Now, Aqua did get a bit of support back in the Mega Road pack, and we got a few new interesting cards that kind of let the deck become this overwhelming like, beatdown deck where they finally got the tools to, rather than just be 2,500 attackers that don't really do anything with kind of lackluster spell traps, they now have the ability to increase their attack and decrease the opponent's attack to make themselves seem a bit more of a threat. So go through the card by card, we have three different 1,500 Aqua Vanillas in Hayasube, Utamus Dark Witch, and Tiramisu Dark Witch. These are all just 1,500 attack. Decent, nothing really special to say about it. Under our field spell, they'll become 17, which might be relevant. Next up, we have our three boss monsters. So we have Dean Keto, the Cure Maiden, 2500 attack, level 8 water aqua. If you have a face up field spell on the field, you can draw one card and show it. If it is a field spell, gain 1000 life points. So this card obviously wants us to have a lot of field spells in the deck. We are primarily going to be using this just to draw cards and just be a 2500 beater. Uh, we're not going to try and fill our deck with field spells because we feel like that would brick us quite badly. Next up, Dian Keto, the Kitchen Master, again, another card from the Mega Road Pack. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Filling our graveyards with cards that we want them to be there so that we can activate our other effects that require us to shuffle cards from the graveyard back into the deck. Then you can gain life points equal to the number of Aqua-type monsters sent to the graveyard by this effect times 1,000. Again, the effect might not be too relevant. It's in there because it's a 2,500 beta. And then our new boss monster, Kappa Emperor River Slider. So another 2,500 attack monster, this time level 7. Send one face-up Aqua-type monster from your field to the graveyard. Destroy up to two face-up level 7 or lower normal monsters on your opponent's field. So this seems to be specifically good against Galaxy or any other deck that's running level 7 and lower normal monsters. So any deck that's using Secret Order, this card would probably be pretty good against. It almost feels like it's maybe a direct answer to that, but who knows. Next up, Abyss Soldier. This is our Legend card. In 1800 Aqua, under our field spell will come 2000. We can send one water attribute monster from our hand to the graveyard to return one card from the field to the hand. So this effect is fine, and the the stats on this monster are also fine. We wanted to play this just because it's new, and we want to just kind of use it, see how it works. And we figured, well, if we're going to play an Aqua card, we might as well play it in the Aqua deck. Next up, Rice Terror Secure. So we can send one level five or higher monster from our hand to the graveyard in order to change non-Aqua type attack position monsters on your opponent's field to defense position. So this can be really good if we've got just a bunch of boss monsters in our hand, we can throw them away to change Alex's big monsters into defense and hopefully they have lower defense points. 
Next up, a new card from the Mega Road pack. During the turn, you normal summon this card, place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. One face of monster in your opponent's field loses 500 attack until the end of this turn. Then you can add a level 7 or higher aqua type monster from your graveyard to the hand. So this is a really cool card because this basically will allow our 2500 attackers to trade with 3000 and under the field spell they can get over anything as big as 34 which is a really big number plus being able to get our boss monsters back from the graveyard can also be really key since we will be sending to the graveyard quite a lot the other new card from mega road pack lady of pumps you normal summon this card this turn and have a face at level seven or higher aqua type monster in your field draw one card so that's really cool just being able to draw a card is just good straight off the bat all face up level 7 or higher aqua monsters in your field gain 400 attack. So again, that lets us reach 29, and then under the effect of our field spell, we'll reach 31 and reduce the enemy by 200. Really, really powerful. Then we have our spell trap, destruction, and moisturize. Our field spell, rainy megalopolis. So activate this card if you have two or more face up aqua type monsters on your field. While this card is on the field in your field zone, all aqua type monsters on your field gain 200 attack, and all face up non aqua type monsters on the field lose 200 attack. So this is a really cool card because this basically is going to be a 400 attack boost. Like it, it, the disparity between our attack and their attack is going to be now 400, which is a which is a really relevant number. But it's better than 200, better than 300, obviously. Just it's a powerful field spell, specifically just for beatdown. So we're gonna we're gonna play with it and see how it works. Then all for not bubble burst. This is just our combat trick, 600 attack. The rest of it's going to be irrelevant because Alex isn't going to be on spellcasters. But 600 attack combat trick is decent. And then Kappa Rivers Flow. So when an opponent's monster declares an attack, shuffle two aqua type monsters from a graveyard into the deck. The attacking monster loses 800 attack until the end of the turn. Then you can make one face up normal monster on your opponent's field lose 800 attack. So again, the, the Kappa aqua side of the deck seems to be very anti normal monsters. So it seems very good against like the Galaxy deck that's obviously Alex is playing, which is very, very powerful. But against regular decks, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be. An 800 attack combat trick is still always going to be relevant. And the low cost of shuffling two aqua monsters from the graveyard into the deck is very very achievable so this card still seems decent enough on its own but if we do play against a normal monster being able to reduce this attack by 16 is really 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 good in the side deck dean keto the boogie master this is in here because it is a level eight and it can work very well with our trade-in so trade-in is send one level eight monster from my hand to the graveyard to draw two cards so if alex is not on any normal monsters we will side out kappa emperor river slider or dean keto and then side in our trade-ins so that we have a bit more of this consistency engine going on next up hell kappa diwet so during the turn you summon this card shuffle level seven normal monsters from your opponent's graveyard into the deck up to the number of spell cards in your opponent's graveyard then you can special summon one kappa emperor river slider from your graveyard face up to your field so this card i think will only come in if we're against galaxy which i don't expect us to be but if we are against galaxy we can shuffle the level seven monsters back into the deck which Obviously, Alex is going to want his level 7 monsters in the graveyard, and we can recur our boss monster, which again, specifically, is very, very strong against galaxy monsters. Next up, another anti-normal monster card, Caught in the Rain. So if there is a face-up field spell on the field, all face-up normal monsters on our opponent's field lose attack equal to the number of monsters on their opponent's field times 300 until the end of the turn, then we can destroy a spell or trap. So just an extra spell trap destruction, always going to be happy with that, but also potentially reducing the attack of all of Alex's monsters by 900, very, very strong. Then finally, Master's Cure. So when your opponent normal summons or special summons a level 7 or higher monster, gain 1,000 life points, then you can make a face act type monster on your field gain 1,000 attack. This is going to be specifically good if Alex is on cards that are stronger when they're attacking. Uh, we can use this in response to a summon, make our monster hopefully big enough that he can't attack over it, and then on our turn, because it won't be as strong as it's not attacking, we can attack over it. So that's the deck. It is just a generic kind of beatdown strategy. Hopefully that will be enough. We'll have to see what Alex brings. Let's hope... We can take him down. Yeah, I am really not sure what you're going to bring, to be honest. Because uh, we were talking about this earlier. About how your dragons only really got one new card. And it would be cool to see the dragons, but at the same time, only using one new card is a bit... You know, it's not very interesting for you. But <laughs> you do like dragons. I do, yes. So go. Alright, good luck and have fun. Good luck. Yeah. We'll go first. Well, this is not a very good going first hand. Um, I'm gonna set. Then I think I'm gonna set two. And pass back. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, one. Uh, uh, you're playing fire, I see. That's definitely what this is telling me. Two. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it is the dragon's deck. <laughs> oh, Dragius turn one. That's pretty rough for me. Uh, you know what? We'll check this out. Oh, rainy megalopolis. Mm. All non aquas. Ooh. Yeah, if I get that going, it's really, really powerful. Uh, let's see. Lady of Pumps. Zero. Take the risk. And Rice Terrace Secure. Mm. Maybe I could dome. A rice find. Terrace. <laughs> this is just not good hand. Unfortunately, we will set set. Uh, we just have to just set a load of shit so we don't just die. Yeah. Uh, we might as well chuck this out. Yeah. Fuck greed. Fantastic. Oh, stop it. The inferno. <laughs> you got my spell trap destruction moisturize. Ah, yes. <laughs> then, if you gained LP by this effect. <laughs> Everyone loves LP. Yeah, people can stop you gaining life points, I suppose. Oh, Fortitude Dragon. Okay. Ooh, there he is. Summon out the new guy. I don't know if Bluetooth is meant to be a guy dragon or a girl dragon, or if it remotely matters. Uh, yeah, I in don't. Some, in some, uh... Cases, dragons are asexual, right? So, yeah, I think it was Game of Thrones that was the case. Okay, uh, because that's <laughs> I want to. Oh, damn it, I didn't. Mate, I will take my 2500 life points when I'm losing this hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got my uh, shoulder phone near and near at the end there. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me with this hand? Um, huh. Well, we will set some cards and pass. Hmm. Thousand, twenty-five hundred. Oh damn! Yeah, I drew two tribute monsters. The thing oh, is, so I could have summoned one less monster in the last turn. But if you had used your Dragius effect, I would have been on five hundred life points. And if you had just anything else, I was just dead. So I, I would still yeah. probably do that exact same thing again. So that's just a brick, unfortunately. Let's see if we can do better in game two. We'll try first again. Hopefully we'll get a better going first hand. Uh, this isn't great. Alright, we have to unbrick this. So I'm going to summon Lady of Pumps and summon Abyss Soldier. Ooh. Then I'll activate Abyss Soldier's effect. We'll discard to return. Doesn't really matter, it's just getting summoned again. Uh -huh. Then I'll <laughs> normal summon. I'm going to tribute to summon Dean Quito, the Kitchen Master. Uh, and then I think we're fine to end on that. Uh, yeah, so I got a whole lot of nothing. Let's see. That's good. I opened uh, just a pile of tribute yeah. monsters. So I was like, I've got to get some of this out of the hand. <laughs> Oh, you managed to get your whole hand gone. This is pretty mm. good. Alright, we're going to activate Trade In. Now I can discard a level 8 to draw two cards. Then I'm going to activate Trade In. Discard a level 8 to draw two cards. Then I can normal summon Shoulder Phone Nian Nian. Which gives me everything I need to activate Rainy Megalopolis. 
Then I can set two cards face down, go battle, and try and crash into your board. Let's see what you've got. I don't like that delay. Then we pass. Okay. See how your dragon's like flying in the rain. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be fine with it. Oh, except for the minus 200 yeah, attack. Fortitude Dragon. Tribute to for Stockbuster. Okay. Activate Stockbuster. Weaken my boys uh, or my girls. Yeah. Oh, seven or lower. Damn. Activate Dragon's Inferno. Okay. And. Battle. Twenty four hundred to the dome. It goes near the end. Oh. All right, we will go for a oh, normal summon. Tiramisu Dark Witch. <laughs> oh, oh, rainy death. city back out. What is going to be the play? <laughs> I think there is a decent chance we have an annoying trap down. You can't have Mirror Force. Don't worry about that. I'm going to summon out to two Miss Dark Witch and then tribute mm. to summon out Dean Kitu, the Gold Digging Master. Set a back row. Go to battle. And we'll start by attacking with Dean Kitu. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, what is the worst thing in the world right now? By attacking, you have another Spirit Shackles. I am boned. So, I think we're going to play it safe, just in case. Ooh. I don't want to get too owed really easily because I walked into two Spirit Shackles. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Um... Yeah, Normal Summon Phoenix Dragon. Okay. Activate as a fair. Pitch and stop just to get back mirror gears. Okay. And does mirror gears have yeah. the same line on it? Is the question. Yeah, so level seven or lower. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> you just having higher level creatures. Such a pain. Oh, I guess I'll just end. Well, you might have something in your side deck to uh, alleviate that a little bit. Um, what am I doing with this? Alright. I think this hand's pretty self-explanatory, so... I have to do this. We'll normal summon out Lady of Pumps. We then activate Lady of Pumps. For a card. We'll then normal summon Rice Terrace Secure. So I can send level 5 or high monster from my hand to the graveyard change non aquatype monsters on the field to defense mode. That would let me play around uh, crap cards. So we will do that. Get rid of Bean Kito. Then we will tribute to to summon a second Bean Kito. So we now don't die to spirit shackles, but we can still die to other things. I think we have to still just go battle phase here. Let's get in. Okay. Don't get a second attack. Uh, I think that's all I've got. Well, I mean, you I, don't, I don't think I can. Phase, so. <laughs> I could. I don't know. Have a trap? I don't think there's any traps you can activate in open game state in Rush. I think they're all in response um, to something. Hmm. Man, this is tough. Uh, oh, let's shift my boy back to attack. Okay. Another tribute. That is just burst dragon. Then. Okay. Ooh. 
I will normal summon Shoulder Phone Nian Nian, activate her effect. So now I can place one card from my hand on the bottom of the deck. So that's going to have to be this one, to weaken one of your monsters. Then I can bring back one of my boss monsters from the grave. So we'll bring back your Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> then I will summon out my Terror Secure. We we'll use its effect again. Change your monsters back to defense. Then I'll tribute two to summon Cure Maiden. And I'll activate her effect, which I can draw a card. Then we'll summon the card we drew, Tiramisu Dark Witch. Go to battle. So if you are going to have another one of your annoying trap card that pops a monster. I should attack with the card I want to lose the least. So, I will attack with your maiden. Uh... Ooh, okay. Text the monster. Uh, so, I guess same principle. I want to act with the card I care the least, uh, the most about. And if you have the trap that pops a monster, you'd have to pop the crap one to stop the extra attack. Ooh, tenacity. This is weakens. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Level of the monster times 100. So or I'll do it. Um, unfortunately, that's all I've got for this turn. Mm. Oh, Pog. Pog. <sighs> fortunately. Oh. Okay. I do have three back right now, though. Oh, you uh, can now use Bluetooth Burst Dragon's effect. That and... Mm, battle? Well, we knew there was a back row coming. This is one of my new cards. Atlas Ooh. River Flow. So I can shuffle two Aqua Monsters back into my deck and then weaken your monster's attack. And then if it was a normal monster, I can weaken it more. Ah, that's annoying. Well, hopefully you can't just game me after that. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I can't. But we can use Moisturize to pop in some of these back rows. And the second Moisturize. So I can't actually use D and Heater the Cure Maiden's effect anymore, which kinda sucks. And my deck's looking a bit thin, so I don't really want to use Kitchen Master. Uh, yeah, we just go straight to battle. We will attack with Kitchen Master. And then we will attack with Cure Maiden. And pass back. Mm. Slugger activates effect. Pitcher. Take out. <clears throat> a 600 attack combat trick. And unfortunately, your guys are just too big. Hmm, you have that trap card back there, though. That, at the very least, gives me some pause. Um, what could the worst trap card you have be? I think no matter what, I kill Dragius, but I think you can take out both my monsters in the worst case scenario. Uh, so I'm going to summon Shoulder Phone. Activate Shoulder Phone. And now I get rid of a card. Weaken your guy, and then I can grab back an extra boss monster in case I need it next turn. 
set of Bakras go to battle, they will attempt to attack with Ginkito. Yeah, there we go. If I didn't weaken uh, you, you would have killed both of my bosses. I'm getting for 12. Let's see. Betcha. Yeah. Boys back. Be over the twelve and end. Um well, I think I've just drawn the best card on my deck. So here's the legend. Hmm. You use the effect. Right back to your hand. Um, GG. <laughs> oh, GG man. Oh, so it's going to be one apiece. Yeah, one apiece. Oh, so I, I'm going to predict that you're going to go into your side deck and pull out some nasty monsters. Since your seven and lower one effects don't seem to do much here. Oh, assuming you have them in the side deck, that is. Let's go first. Oh, good okay. And very defensive opening. E block. <laughs> All right, we will summon Shoulder Phonian. Summon Tiramisu Duck Witch. Activate our Rainy Megalopolis. Set a couple back row. Go straight to battle. We will attack into this with our Nyan Nyan. Attack into this with our Dark Witch. Pass back to you. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Set. Uh... I have to flip this over. Ah, okay. That's this... not good for me. If you blow me out with Bluetooth right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would certainly like to. Fortunately, I got three servants in hand. Well, we've all been there. Use Moisturize and pop a acro. Then... It's back, baby. I guess next we'll activate Traden. I will get rid of one. draw. Uh, this is where stuff gets getting tricky because your back row could pop. Like if I tribute summon a monster, I attack, and then your back row is the dragon revenge thing. I just kind of lose a big guy without really any gain at all. That doesn't sound like fun. All right, I'm going to tribute to summon out the Inkito. Then I'll activate its effect to draw a card. Uh, I will then fire off trade in. This card to draw two. I will then. Normal summon Lady of Pumps. Activate its effect to draw a card. Give a little boost. Then fire off Moisturize. Power of just drawing a shit ton of cards. We will set your battle and then beat over and hit you direct with Cure Maiden 31. And then it's your turn. Uh, well, that's a lucky draw. Oh, that is very good. I don't know if it outs what I've got though. I have a pretty strong board. Uh, that's just, uh... Yeah, I'll do that. Ooh, Shock shocking. Dragon. Okay. If I have literally nothing in my back row, you can attack over. Ooh, now I need a big thing, because a thousand is a lot to use as a combat oh, trick. Damn it. It was a. I cannot. 
thousand is too big a gap. I don't know. I think you've got this now because that's. Well, it is if I top deck this. Uh, I need to get rid of this. Weaken this. Do I want a card back in hand? I guess I do. I can summon. Repeat two. Activate the effect. For a card. Really what I want to draw, but that's fine. Uh, I think for safety's sake, I just go straight to battle phaser and attack. Pass to you. Okay, uh, well. <laughs> He's back! Logger. Rock Dragon. You're gonna be so glad you didn't summon another for eight. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. yes, that would have been tragic. So all your eights have the same attack, don't they? <laughs> Yeah, they do. <laughs> Can't stop any of this damage. Um, it's going to come down to what I draw now. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes <laughs> wow. you just draw in the end. Uh, we will get rid of this. We can That's it, this. right? If you can just pull every card out of your deck, then... <laughs> That's my superpower. So we can tribute, get out the new boss monster. I'm happy we got to see this boss monster a shit ton, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> I keep getting, like, the worst possible draws. Um, so you can use Shot Dragon's effect whenever. If I leave that, I get screwed over. Uh, Alright, as much as it pains me, I think I have to summon this. The problem being, if you can out my board and I don't draw well, I just get screwed over here. So that's why I didn't want to summon Tiramisu. Back over and pass. Hmm... Ah, uh, it's gonna be five or higher. No, that's game. Then this. Okay. So what is this? Yoga. <laughs> it's Yokai Tiger Orient Strike. <laughs> One face at level eight or lower monster on your opponent's field loses attack equal to the number of uh, spells slash tracks on your opponent's field. Two monsters. Uh... Well. How many spell traps are in my graveyard? That's my next question. Five. Two, three, four. Oh, that's not. That's the bad number. <laughs> Wait, didn't you just uh... declare that was that this was game? This doesn't look like game. Uh. Right. As much as this sucks, I think I have to do this in case I draw <laughs> no monsters that I can fucking summon. Uh. So, I'm gonna send back two. Nyan Nyan's, just so that I can make sure I have plays. Okay, everything's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, when Phoenix Dragon is the only <laughs> monster you can play in a turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I had no idea it was in your hand, but you've, you've managed a couple of times this game to just summon stuff that I was like, oh, this board looks pretty unoutable, and then you were like, oh yeah, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, we'll just. But you didn't. Yeah, you threw yeah. my beer on the floor. Yeah. Just fuck your beer. That's why. Oh yeah, Aquas went from being like. So, so Aquas before Mega Road Pack were basically just summon a twenty five hundred dude. And that's kind of it, right? Like their best trap card was um. Just that. 600 attack combat trick, which isn't a bad card, but it's also nothing spectacular, right? Yeah. And it only works with the level 8s. But, 
the the benefit I guess they got, or because the, the issue they had before was a lot of their spell traps only work on level 8 or lower. So if you were on a fusion or a maximum, my deck just gets turned off completely. Um, and obviously you weren't on any of that today, but obviously I wasn't running those cards. I was using the kind of more generically good cards. Uh, Rainy Megalopolis definitely seems like the MVP of this deck. Um, but it definitely felt like being, between Dean Keto and... I can't remember what the other card was called, but the one which... Um, yeah, Lady of Pumps, which now gives me draw power rather than just me discarding my entire hand every turn. Uh, definitely feel like it gives the, le the deck a bit more kind of legs to stand on. Yeah, man. Just being able to draw your entire deck, <laughs> half your deck in that one turn was just like, what? No, stop. Yeah, there was that yeah one turn where I just could not stop drawing cards, and it was like, well, I have every answer I need now. I guess this is it. It's a shame we didn't get to yeah. see the um, the Kappa side of the deck because basically oh, the new yeah. boss monster is destroy a normal monster. So like, it's almost a direct answer to Galaxy, where it was like. Galaxies are a bit too strong. We'll start putting in these like anti normal monster cards. So, as soon as you just weren't really playing normal monsters, I was like, well, there's no point in having this in. So, I sided it out and brought in another Dean Keto. But it's, uh, it's a weird one to be like, oh, if Alex is on Galaxy, I now get to side in this boss monster that specifically is here to counter Galaxy. Because <laughs> that also <laughs> feels a bit weird. I suppose Galaxy do feel like they're maybe a little bit above curve. So, maybe that's fine. Yeah, but even the um the old spellcasters like I've got that trap card um, all for naught bubble burst which has the extra line on it. If your opponent has a face up spellcaster type monster on the field, one face up monster on your opponent's field loses one million attack. Which obviously you know the million is just there kind of to be funny, but it's like so anti specific, right? Because I think there was another card um which was uh I can destroy a machine monster and I'm just like Alex doesn't play machine monsters. I play machine monsters. <laughs> oh, but yeah, blue. I'm surprised actually. I wasn't expecting um, Bluetooth Burst Dragon's affect the golf as much as it did, but you used it what three or four times? Yeah, three, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. Got to blow up some shit, and that that uh, spell card you played as well was crazy. What was it? Um, Yokai Tiger. Yokai Orient Tiger Orient Strike. <laughs> I was I wasn't expecting that. I'll tell you that much. That was a really cool little tech though. Yeah, was I wish it? I'd thought of. Um... We should have noticed game two that Terror Stockbuster wasn't going to hit your fucking boss monsters because the eights. Yeah. <laughs> well, in in game one, I was dragon. running a level seven, so you could have hit the Kappa guy. I guess mm. you you didn't know I was going to side it out. So. Oh, but yeah, GG man. GG.